How many motorcycles can you haul with a pickup truck? In this experiment, we'll be using a fairly stock Chevy Silverado with a six and a half foot bed. If you have a truck with a shorter bed like this one, you should sell it and buy a real truck. But if that's not an option right now, just open the tailgate and follow along and you should be able to haul some motorcycles in there anyway. So we're gonna be putting two on the sides and one up the middle. And what we do is we put the foot peg of each bike on the wheel well. I've got a bed liner so it doesn't mangle my wheel well. You might have to improvise if you've got just a standard bed. Put something in between there to, so you don't scratch up your paint. Put the kickstand up and put the wheels all the way up against the front of the bed and use these hooks to attach the tie downs. Also you want to turn your handlebars all the way one way or the other jammed up against the front of the bed before you tie them down. Now we've got the third bike in there and you can see there's space between the bikes. You might be able to jam four in there if you've crammed them together and they were rubbing against each other the whole way, but our goal is to put them in there and get them together and have them not touch each other, not beat each other up while we're driving up the bumpy road to the off-road park. All right, here's a look at the tie-down straps. I try to put them through the handlebars and wrap them once around the handlebar. Um, one of these straps is going through two bikes. So basically you just want to pull the handlebars forward so that the bike has support coming from left and right. And then I run a strap through the back wheels as well so they don't bounce when we're going down the dirt road and whack into each other. And then shut the tailgate and get on the road. And then if you've got a fourth bike, like if you're bringing three kids and you want to bring an extra bike, this hitch hauler works really well. Most of these are rated to haul 400 pounds, which is heavier than a dirt bike is, and this one works fine for us. I bought it on eBay. I don't, don't even think it has a brand name. Um, tie it down, handlebars in front on both sides, and then strap through the wheels. And then, there you go. Getting to the dirt with everything exactly the way we tied it down. It was a fairly bumpy road going up there, too. Now, the other option is, if you don't have a truck, go to Home Depot for 19 bucks, and you can rent that. And then make the kids unload the truck while you lurk around and have snacks and put on your boots. And you can see here, I left the hitch hauler on it and we brought a ramp that was long enough to go over the hitch hauler. In some cases, you might have to take the hitch hauler off, but we don't like that, so we just use this longer ramp and the hitch hauler stays on and that's just a lot easier and then nobody's gonna steal it out of the parking lot if you leave it lying around. So then, have fun. That, of course, is the reason we're here. Kids are jumping over a rock repeatedly. These poor little bikes, <laughs> they're not gonna last long. These kids are uh, too big and too fast now for these and have a nice day in the dirt. And then when it's time to put her away, we bring a ramp to roll the bike up and then I've got that second wooden ramp that you can walk up next to the bike. When I'm solo, that's what I do. And then obligatory, beautiful end of the day sunset shot. Actually, since the kids are doing all the work, I was hanging around doing multiple obligatory end of the day sunset shots. Look, enjoy the beauty. Sunset over YZ250. Oh, glorious moments. And so ends another day as the sun sets on my beautiful Chevrolet Silverado pickup truck. And I would advise tying the motorcycles down while the sun is still up, but the kids were just having too much fun jumping over rocks and falling down that uh, we decided to Strap them down in the dark with the light of our cell phones and the light of the beautiful full moon. Thanks for watching.